But, but before I leave the podium, I have been tasked with the great pleasure of introducing, of course, Dr. Harris Goldstein, who is the brain power behind this collaborative effort. Thank you all. Hi. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I, I would just say I'm the conductor of an unbelievable symphony with major amazing players. Uh, so first of all, I, I want to uh, be among everyone else thanking my mentor, Dr. Fauci, for uh, coming here, coming out to uh, inaugurate this. And uh, you will be introduced officially, but, you, but the, all I have to say is that you are the unique kind of triple threat that of uh, investigator. You are a physician, you're a scientist, but you're a warrior. And that warrior aspect of you has really led to HIV when I was a fellow in your lab from being a death sentence to HIV now being a treatable illness that now we even have the incredible gall to consider that we could potentially cure. So again, I just want to uh, acknowledge that and, and thank you. I also, so uh, let's uh, want to give an overview of what this Center for AIDS Research actually is. And this is a, uh, a center that uh, was funded by the NIH, and actually Tony and NIID actually were the forefront of coming up with this concept of bringing together basic translational and clinical investigators to enable them to synergize. And, and emphasis is also placed on the inclusion of minorities and prevention of behavioral change research in terms of preventing, treating, and in the future, hopefully, curing HIV infection. And the CIFARs reside within the Division of AIDS at NIAID, which represents the fact that was the birthplace. But since then, uh, Tony and members of his group have reached out and uh, obtained inclusion and funding from 11 other institutes. To get 11 institutes to agree to do something, again, is a testament to Tony's leadership. This is just a map showing where CIFARs are in the country. There are 19 funded CIFARs uh, on the coast and uh, uh, here, but again, just proud to show that on the NIH website, Einstein, Rockefeller, and CUNY now proudly wave the flag of being an NIH-funded CIFAR for all to see. So what are the overall specific aims of our CIFAR? Uh, first is to focus a transinstitutional, interdisciplinary, bench to bedside to community and back to the bench research program to arrest the AIDS epidemic by developing novel approaches to prevent and treat HIV infection promote access and adherence to treatment, improve outcomes, and eradicate uh, reservoirs. To accomplish these optimistic uh, uh, goals, we have established three scientific cores, Biomarkers Advanced Technology Core, Behavioral Science Core, and Clinical Translational Implementation Science Core, and two scientific working groups, Patient and Population Health Outcomes Research and HIV Eradication. The concept behind these centers is that an individual investigators can only do so much on their own. They tend to be in their own intellectual silo in terms of how they approach a problem, and by providing uh, cores for support and scientific working groups to drive interactions among these groups, we have a situation that is the Montefiore motto, one plus one equals five, and have tremendous additive effect. We, a goal of the CIFAR is to expand HIV AIDS research by supporting the next generation of young, innovative HIV AIDS investigators, recruiting established investigators into HIV AIDS research, and forging new collaborations across Einstein, Rockefeller, and CUNY and other regional, regional academic centers. We use, utilize the ERC CIFAR community participatory partnership to bring together government, DOH, and Dr. Bassett will be discussing later about that, community academia for guidance and expansion of participation in HIV diagnosis, treatment, and prevention studies, particularly in the underserved, underserved high-risk populations with limited access to care. And again, part of our goal is to stimulate new scientific initiatives following the leadership of the Office of AIDS Research Trans NIH Strategic Plan and to bring together ERC CIFAR teams locally with other New York City HIV investigators, national and national and internationally. This is an overview of the organization of the CIFAR. The administrative core, uh, uh, me as the director, my four critical associate directors I'll discuss in a minute. We have advisory boards, external, internal, and community participatory partnership to provide us input from the important community in terms of what the needs are and how we could best accomplish them. We have uh, the administrative committees and the operational cores, developmental, biomarkers, advanced technologies, behavioral science, clinical translational implementation science, and our two scientific working groups, HIV eradication and patient and population health outcomes. 
The administrative core, I'm incredibly lucky to have such amazing people that have worked together with me in really uh, affecting this vision. Uh, Dr. Betsy Harold here at Einstein, Dr. Charlie Rice, who uh, his accomplishments are only rivaled by his modesty, has been amazing in terms of uh, helping me and bringing Rockefeller investigators into it. He's been also working together with Sarah in that process, and Dr. Dennis Nash uh, at CUNY has been instrumental in bringing CUNY together and bringing these three very diverse uh, institutions with overlapping and synergistic research programs together and uh, enabling us now to utilize our CIFAR to accomplish hopefully great things in terms of the fight against HIV and for a cure. And uh, uh, we basically lead and implement a strategic planning process to drive a collaborative, synergistic, transinstitutional, interdisciplinary, and translational HIV AIDS research program among Einstein, Rockefeller, and CUNY investigators. We integrate an inclusive scientific leadership structure uh, gr uh, both grassroots and from top down to really give everyone a say and with support provided by scientific cores and interaction driven by the scientific working groups. And our goal, a leadership goal, is to promote interactions of CIFAR investigators with each other and with national and international colleagues. Uh, our criti critical core is the Clinical Translational Implementation Science Core, which is led by, again, an amazing group of investigators, foremost Kathy Anastos, again, who has been my si by my side in putting this whole program together, assisted by Dr. Kasky at Rockefeller, Dr. Strickler here at Einstein, and Dr. Heidi Jones at CUNY. And they bring their diverse uh, expertises to provide a really powerful team to bring together both our clinical data and to enable us to look backwards in terms of uh, understanding uh, uh, how, uh, how different factors uh, are associated with HIV outcome and as well as using a very powerful database in order to uh, also identify unique patients that we can now recruit into study and recruit them into different studies. And again, we've been successful and we hope to expand upon that success. Also, this core will support investigators in research study design for epidemiological studies, implementation science studies, and support the IRB application process. And finally, this core also provides investigators, Einstein, Rockefeller, and CUNY, where needed, with biostatistical support. The, uh, sci the, we all, also supported by the Biomarker Advanced Technology Core, led by Dr. Joan Berman uh, and Dr. Steve Almo, two brilliant scientists, as well as Dr. at Einstein, as well as Dr. Euro Buttelman at Rockefeller, who together provide infrastructure and, uh, and optimized technologies to support su studies in HIV pathogenesis, prevention, functional cure studies, utilizing HIV virology imaging support, biomarker and drug assays, customized molecular cellular assays to uh, design and implement high throughput uh, screens, making proteins, antibodies, and biologics, and doing sequence analysis to determine host genetic variants, and transfer new technologies from individuals' labs that they develop now into the core to now readily and rapidly make them available to uh, investigators at our institutions. And finally, training ERC CIFAR investigators in molecular and cellular techniques. Behavioral Science Corps, led by Dr. Lori Bauman, again, been uh, amazing in terms of putting this together, working together, at, she's at Einstein, working together with Sarit Golob at CUNY and Dr. Bruce Rapkin here at Einstein. Behavioral Science Corps really makes the critical uh, uh, implementation uh, step of taking all of these wonderful discoveries that are made in the lab and translating it in a way that patients actually adhere to these medications. And this really is the critical aspect of implementing the cures that we're developing or treatments into the population. They've developed methods in study design, theory, questionnaire construction, mixed methods, all to enhance excellence of behavioral research. They have a qualitative research resource. They advise investigators on how to use biomarkers to correlate self-report with actual behavior to have a cognitive interview lab to try to better understand uh, our patient population and how best to reach out to them, and also lead the community participate partnership, which brings the community into our research efforts. And we have a developmental core, which plays a critical role in terms of nurturing the uh, future and uh, junior CIFAR investigators, led by two outstanding uh, mentors and scientists, Dr. Vinyaka Prasad at Einstein and Dr. Chinaza Cunningham at Einstein. Uh, Dr. Prasad's expertise in basic science, Dr. Cunningham expertise in uh, clinical, translational, and behavioral science, and they uh, provide customized mentoring to early stage investigators, 
utilize catalytic and microgrants to support their work early, stimulate scientific communication among Einstein, Rockefeller, and CUNY investigators, and mentor early stage investigators in, in conducting community participatory and behavioral AIDS research in collaboration with the behavioral science course. So the course don't work alone, they work together to synergize. And we have two scientific working groups to drive interactions intellectually among all our investigators. Our patient population health and outcomes research scientific working groups utilizes our patient population, unfortunately, which is, which is, which is uh, affected by HIV disproportionately due to its uh, social and economic situation, led by Dr. Nash. Uh, uh, at CUNY, Dr. Julia Arnston here at Einstein, and this scientific working group is bringing together diverse investigators to promote collaborative population-based research to improve sustained achievement of key outcomes along the HIV prevention uh, care continuum, reduce disparities in HIV-related outcomes uh, of HIV acquisition, morbidity, and mortality, and again, this scientific working group bringing together investigators to promote collaborative patient-centered outcomes and comparative effectiveness research collaborations focused on persons with multiple uh, HIV as well as other comorbidities. And they, uh, again, uh, enhance scientific productivity also by helping to nurture the careers of junior investigators that are a critical part of that scientific working group. And finally, our uh, other working group led by Dr. Kalpana and Dr. Kasky at Rockefeller is focused on HIV eradication, bringing together investigators focused on three main research areas, molecular mechanisms of HIV latency, novel and alternate modalities of HIV cure, and strategies to target latent reservoirs. They generate, are generating new interdisciplinary collaborations among established investigators, bringing in early stage investigators to nurture their career, focusing them on HIV cure strategies, as well as non-HIV investigators bringing their expertise into HIV AIDS uh, cure research. And they bring investigators together work together, help them write grants, and get funded to move it forward uh, by bringing together uh, investigators across all three institutions. And finally, my final slide is basically to show that the CIFAR is not just an island here at Einstein. We haven't just established a unique center of excellence. What we now have is a gateway and a pathway to enable us to link up with CFARs uh, uh, across the country. And these CFARs have established all these different specialized working groups affecting all these different aspects of HIV. And again, this will also further turbocharge the research programs here at Einstein. So again, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I hope this introduction has helped. In the brochure, you have specific details of these cores, contact information for these uh, cores, and I hope very soon in the near future, you'll be, those who are involved, continue to be involved. Those who aren't, I welcome you to be involved and to utilize our core facilities and become involved in the meetings of our scientific working groups. Thank you very much for your attention.